What gets me up in the morning? Passion for a better life, being a father, husband, and uh, trying to provide the needs for them, and doing what I love to do, which is cook pastry product that most people don't want to do. People love empanadas, but nobody wants to make them. Building this type of business requires long hours, a lot of traveling, but I try to squeeze family time, shutting everything down, even if it's just taking them out to dinner, uh, going to certain locations, and building it, and building that relationship with the kids, which is, you know, sometimes very difficult. We do a lot of different flavors. My goal was to make it totally different than the traditional way, the way I was brought up. I wanted to use some high-end spices. And I said to myself, well, why can't I make the Mercedes level of the empanada? This is why I'm one of the best in the country making this, because most people press it and they don't cut it. If you don't cut it, oil is gonna seep in, damage the integrity of the product. I can go home and get vanilla food. You know what I mean? This is not vanilla. <laughs> this is not vanilla food, man. A good friend of mine planted the idea of, Carlos, you need to make this and bring it to the white neighborhood. And I started laughing, and then I said, listen, it's not as easy as you think. It's, it's a very tedious product to make. Right out of my house, that's how I started. Jelly wasn't even around, right? Yeah. Yeah, you weren't around when I started this. I know. And my grandmother passed away when I was in high school. How powerful and what this woman was and what she used to tell me and, and do things. And I used to like bump heads with her and, and now it's like she was my light, you know, I realized that with, with love and compassion, but yet, you know, you got to get up and bust your ass and, and make things happen. It's my first time here. Yeah. I came all the way from South Brunswick. South Brunswick. Yeah. Near Princeton? Yeah, yeah. I all got right. from the Princeton. To yeah. have lunch. To have okay. lunch today. It was delicious. Well, thank you. It's an honor. Right. So I know where you are now. Thank you. You're making nice and easy to come here. All right. Well, thank you so much. I You're welcome. It. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Having your product that you started right out of your house and having the hope and dream that someday it will be in every supermarket. Uh, it's always been my a dream since day one because what's there right now ain't cutting it. It's just not good. It's an opportunity that I'm yet to see unfold on television and you're going to see it for the first time July 22nd.